Yer! <laughs> what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. Today, finally, finally, we're gonna be taking off the rear turn signals of the 2020 Low Rider Rest. Um, as you know, I have the Moons MC rear light. I just never bought this part when I first ordered the light. And right now, my turn signals are still working. The light is just working for the brake light. And it's just gonna, you know, it's just on when it's on. Um, so we're gonna be deleting these off. I'm gonna run the strap from the light all the way under uh, the seat right here into the bike. So it's gonna be real easy. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna be taking off these bolts, uh, both of these on this side, both of the ones on the other side, uh, take off the seat. We're gonna lift the whole fender up. Basically what we're gonna do is just take off the uh, stock wiring that the bike came with and then replace it with this. So it should take a few minutes and maybe you don't want to do this is just to clean up the back it makes it look much nicer cleaner um and obviously to give that real light a little bit more function than what it has now all right so we're gonna start by taking off these bolts here guys so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna loosen both of them up and then the plate is gonna drop from behind here so you gotta make sure that you hold that in place as you're doing it so we'll just leave this one in place like this so it doesn't fall out after we take this plate off and we run, um, we lift up the fender, I'm not sure, I'm gonna try to take off the cables. There we go, so that's one plate right there. I'm gonna try to not cut the cables. In case of, you know, you wanna, wanna reuse them later on, which I might, I'm probably not gonna reuse them, but I just like to keep everything nice and organized and stock as is. Also make sure as you're doing this guys, just to keep your workspace clean. You don't want to lose any nuts or bolts because I've had bad experiences before and I learned my lesson. All right guys, so um, we got all four bolts off. What we're gonna do now is just um, take off the seat and um, loosen everything else up. After that, we'll just lift off the fender and I'll show you guys, try to give you guys some close up uh, views of everything. Just like that. So originally I was gonna take uh, both four bolts off and just um, kind of bend this up, but he just mentioned that he was like, you know what, like you could kind of scratch it. So might as well just take off the two front bolts you're gonna have here on both sides and just take the whole bracket off. So that's what we're gonna do. Makes more sense. So now what we're gonna do is just unplug, unplug everything right here. So, there it goes. Right. So that comes off just like that. So as you can see here, we have the light and then we got everything running. This is the part that we're gonna be taking off and then we're gonna be adding the one that Moons MC provides for us. The one that I paid for. All right guys, so I already went ahead and I unscrewed the uh, Moons MC rear light out of here. I also disconnected this wire that connected from the light and that's what we're gonna be taking off right now um, and like I said before I don't want to cut any um, any wiring off so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just unscrew this and then pull the wiring out through here and that's it so in case if I want to use this or if I need it for anything else or if maybe I want a, a friend needs it or something everything's still accurate and it works good Actually took off the bolt that was inside here just take the whole thing off because I wasn't gonna able to feed the whole wire through because of the head right here so we'll just do that now and we'll pull everything out we'll be able to use this light in the near future if you need it remember your screws put them right where you're gonna be using them at so you don't lose anything all right, so now that everything is off the fender, guys, all we gotta do now is just take off the uh, stock wiring that's here. Loop it out through the hole here, and then you're all good. All we gotta do now is just lay down the new one and set it up. So this, obviously, here is gonna be the end that's gonna go on the bike. This end right here is gonna go to the Moons MC of uh, real light. All right, so we'll just line everything up, make sure it's gonna measure right. Um, 
and which is looks good there. It's gonna go in the same exact place that the stock one was at. So we'll stick that down there, apply some pressure, make sure it's nice and sticky. This will latch on back over here again. So as you can see here, we have our wiring exactly right where it's supposed to be at. Exactly the same position where the stock one was at. So now we go ahead, start putting everything back on the fender, screw everything on, and then we'll put the fender back on and plug everything in uh, to the bike. All right, so I already went ahead and I put the plate. Just want to show you guys what I did. This whole side is back on again. So what you want to do first is put that plate that we first took off. So it's gonna be easier now to put it on now that we got everything off. All right, so you wanna take your plate, put it through here, pop it right in the holes. Be sure to be careful so you don't scratch your paint. Just like that. Put your screw on top, your nuts. Put a nice little pivot in it, hold it in place. Get the other one, also hold it in place. I did take the one off from the inside as well, so I'll go ahead and add that one on right now as well. We're all stuck in there. All right guys, so as you can see here, bare knuckle, bare bones. I got everything on the fender. All we're gonna do is now is put it right to its place where it's gonna be uh, bolted onto. So right on there, gonna have my handyman here, my helpy helper, Jerry, hold it in place for me. And, uh, and then we're almost done, guys. It's gonna be it. So we're just gonna put the, these two uh, bolts back in the frame. So we're gonna tighten up now. And then we're just gonna do the easy plug and play with the wiring. All right, so now for the plugs, just follow the instructions. They tell you which plugs go where. Um, these all look the same though. Yes. They're all black and purple, oh, and brown and black. Okay, we'll just test them out and then we'll see what works. Cause I threw away the instructions, I think. But obviously the main, um, the main um, cord, which is a big one, goes in here, you know, that's gonna be correct. And we'll just plug it in first and see which side works for what. This is only just to tell which, if it's gonna be left or right on the on the turn signals. So it's just a, if it's not working one way, we'll just switch it and the other one will work properly. All right, so this was the new strip that I ordered, right? So that's gonna be connected right in there. We're gonna have our main light right here, which we're gonna plug right in here. There we go. And now we gotta try to figure out which is, uh, which lights for what? Oh, this is brown and green. Okay, I see. Do the brown on the right side, do the green on the left side. And then we'll see what works. Turn the bike on, Jerry. Hold on. Uh, left blinker. <laughs> All right, that's wrong. <laughs> that's only totally wrong. Okay, hold on. Unplug it, yeah. All right, guys, so it's gonna be the green on the right and brown on the left. So green on right, brown on left. Jerry, hit it. Left. There we go, look at that! All right, hit the right side just to make sure it works. Oh, look at that. Uh, pull the brake lever. Let me press the button. So I, I want the strobe light. This comes with the strobe as well in the back. Hold on, let me hold it down. All right, hit the brake. There we go, look at the strobe. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Let me just make sure. Is it working? Yep, awesome. Put the screws back in there and they're all done, guys. All done. That was a nice little guessing game with the wiring, but. <laughs> well, that was pretty simple. Yeah. It's nothing like, you know, you gotta take anything apart because it's gonna go right back in it. Yeah. That so, that's a good thing about uh, this product here. So I, I recommend Moose MC. And I'm not sponsored by Moose. I pay for all this stuff myself. Um, but their, their stuff is pretty cool and pretty easy. 
pretty self-explanatory. Like I, I didn't even follow any instructions. I kind of threw away the instructions, but I do that with most stuff that I get. I just figure it out on my own. Uh, but their stuff is pretty um, to the point, pretty self-explanatory and uh, pretty easy. So as, um, let me just wipe this down real quick. Give you guys a nice little clear vision of everything. Jerry, if you, uh, if you don't mind. Wait to it yeah, I'll whip that down in a minute. If you don't mind, just turning on, uh, turn the bike on again. So that's the light. Press the brake light, please. That's the strobe. Now left. There we go. And right. Awesome. We're by four ways. Let's start at the top. Yeah, right there. There we go. Pretty nice. What you guys think? Drop your thoughts and comments down below. Also, really quick, like I said before, you are able to just not take everything off like I did. Um, it just um, lift off the uh, lift the fender up, but then you're gonna be risking scratching your fender on both sides. That's the reason why I just ended up taking everything off. Um, it was a little bit more work, but you risk not scratching your fender, which is a plus, right? All right, guys, so this is the finishing part of it. This is how nice and clean it looks now. What I got to do next is just buy the um, little uh, place right here to cover this up. Um, so it could just be nice and flush and filled in. Um, the plates, they're going to be gloss black, though. They, they don't come in this material. So I'm probably going to order those from Debbie Customs. Um, and that's it. But I do love the look of it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm happy that the light has, has uh, the proper function now that I did it before. And it just cleans everything out for the back. What you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know um, if you're going to be doing this to your bike. If you have done this to your bike. Um, that's going to be it, guys. If you're new to my channel and you are into this type of content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell button. It's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. There's plenty, plenty of more content to come. More stuff for my 2020 Lowrider S. And then right there we have my 2015 Dyna Lowrider, which I have a ton, a ton of stuff just laying around in the back that I need to install on that bike. So tune in. That's gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.